What is up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Classy K. The prettiest thing coming out the A. <laughs> um, we back with another vlog. And today is 420, my dad's birthday. Happy birthday to him. So we're about to go take him to breakfast. We have a whole full day planned. And I wanted to take y'all along with me. Right now, it is about 9.06. And... Originally, I had told my mom, let's do breakfast at 9 o'clock. Y'all see, I'm still in the house. Um, I set an alarm for 7 o'clock, 7.15. Then I really didn't get up out the bed until 8.30. So, yeah, but I have my clothes on. I just need to put my jewelry on. Uh, fix my head up and change, switch my purse over. So, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. But I just wanted to start the vlog while I have time. And I'm going to go ahead and finish getting myself together and then we can head to breakfast and I can really talk to y'all. So guess what? I made it here and ain't nobody else here. But that's fine with me because they was waiting on me at first but now I'm waiting on them. So I don't want to hear nothing. And it's 9.59, 10 o'clock. I am on time. Um, But we are at this place. Well, I'm at this place, not we because everybody else is late. But it's this place called Huskers in Stone Mountain. It's cool to me. Um, nice little cool breakfast spot. To me, it's more of a to-go spot. Like, I would do more to-go than sit down in here. Because it's not, to me, it's just not giving restaurant vibes. Like, that's to me. To me. They do have places where you can sit down and eat. But, I don't know. Um, when I drove past, it was a lot of people in there look packed so i don't know if we're gonna have nowhere to sit because the space of it is just so small it don't give restaurant vibes like you know how you go to the wing spot and it's places you could sit in there to eat but it's not no restaurant you know that's what this place feel like to me but the food is good the food is good last time i came i think i had got like fried fish and salmon no fried fish and fried catfish with cheese grits and it was good to me so Today's gonna be a good day. The sun is out. It's feeling nice out. It's like 65 to 69 degrees, but the highest is gonna reach today is 79. Mm hmm. It's gonna be a nice little day. Sitting here waiting because that's all I can do. Because folks don't want to be on time. <laughs> um, You know, when you was running late and then you on time, you waiting on the other person. Now you gotta talk trash. My sister is in town. She came in town for my our dad's birthday. And I'm excited because I last time I seen her was January. And it's when I was in Orlando. It's April. Like we spent our whole lives together. Now we only see each other months apart. Just sitting here waiting to chill so they can hear. And I'll check back in with y'all. <laughs> so we're at the Mine's look 
I like mine better. Yours is fried harder. Yeah, yours is fried harder. Look what I got. Now y'all see why. We have made it to bowling. We at Bolero. Um, we left the breakfast spot and um, went back to my parents' house because I need to borrow a pair of my little sister's socks because I forgot to bring mine. But let's go in here and bowl, child. <laughs> making its grand appearance today. But yeah, we're just chilling, waiting, sitting outside. I really hope they have the Parmesan crusted lamb chops that I've seen on TikTok. So we're sitting down now. I got me a little raspberry. Baked potato. A loaded, a loaded baked potato with a quarter house steak. Medium well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For the birthday boy. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do the we gonna do the damn thing. Let's see how this looks on the inside. All right. Let's see, let's see if they got it medium well. Jasmine likes her medium well, so I said let's, let's do the damn thing. Yeah. Y'all gotta grow up with that well done. That's that's childish. Y'all gotta enjoy the steak. We don't have to use no sauce on the steak. Mm -hmm. You know what you know what you know what's the joint. Let's see. One through ten. They can compete with a roof push baby. One through ten, what do we give it? I'll give it an eight. Eight? What could make it a ten? It's a little salty. Uh-huh. But that's about it. A little less salt. Mm -hmm. Be, I don't really know. I, know how to, I can't really say a 10 yet on okay. anything unless I make it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What y'all give my steak? Yo, steak's 10 out of 10. What is up, y'all? I am back home. Just got out of the shower. I don't feel like I go to bed. Like, it was just a long day. Not even a long day for real, but. I don't really be going out like that. So to have a full day of breakfast, activity in the middle, and then right to dinner. Oh, I'm gonna sleep good tonight, baby. Trust. But I just wanted it off for the night. I will see y'all when I see y'all. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it may be afternoon where you at, but it's morning where I'm at. Right now, I am kinda in a rush because, well, I'm not really in a rush, but I wanna get things done by a certain time. And my to-do list for this morning is to go get uh, my emissions testing so I could go get my tag because it's gonna expire in a few days, you know, adulting. Then I need to run into Target for a few items and I decided to pick up the camera because I wouldn't say it's an eventful weekend, but I have stuff to do. And when I have stuff to do, I decided to make up my camera. And y'all, the key to life is to just get up early and do it. Just get up early before everybody and their mama start coming outside. And it's a Friday. And I don't like, when I got stuff, stuff to do, I like to do it during the weekday. I'm not even going to lie. Because on the weekend, everybody and their mama outside. So, and it's sunny outside. <laughs> Please. But yeah, I'm finna go. Let me go ahead and head there. 
and I will check in with y'all later. So yeah, my admission is done. It's loud. It's packed. But let's get it done. Got my tag. Easy peasy. One, two, three. Y'all, in the state of Georgia, whatever your local grocery store is, they may have a, a tag renewal kiosk machine. So much better than having to go to the DMV, child. But yeah, let's go to Target. Let's get in and out. It's 9.50. I'm doing wonderful, wonderful on time. Just left out of Target and baby... Too much money spent in Target. Too much. But it was all worth it. 170 on skincare. <laughs> Woo! I don't know. Mm. Well, it's not necessarily skincare. It was just like, you know, hygiene needs. Like, being a woman is expensive, honestly. Like, my soap that I use is $15. But y'all know, it lasts for a minute, though. Y'all, this plastic got Target and Ross. Target and Ross in the same plaza is dangerous, baby. We'll see y'all when I get in the house because I just did too much at Target, but. So I stopped to get my package and I don't know what's gotten into me, but I've just been on this whole like self-care, skincare vibe. So let me show y'all what I got. So I ordered this uh, oil pulling oil rinse. Um, it's supposed to, to me, it's like, uh, what's it called? Mouthwash, in my opinion. It's just mouthwash. Um, cause it's like a rinse for whiter teeth and fresh breath. Now, on to skincare. So, I got me some more Dow soap bars. Because what I do is, I use Dow cause it's antibacterial soap. So, I double cleanse. I use Dow. To clean my body and then I'll use like the little method soap that I have for like scent wise but I don't know them scented soaps to me don't be really getting your body clean clean like for me I need my body to be squeaky clean like some people don't like when soap leaves your skin real dry I do because <laughs> that's how I know my skin is clean and I also got the Dr. Bronner's uh Dr. Bronner's pure cast out soap which to me gets your body squeaky clean too I use both so I just got both interchange, whichever I feel like using at the moment. I also got me a new toothbrush and some cotton rounds. That's just regular stuff. And some more Eucerin. Uh, eczema relief cream. Y'all, if y'all have sensitive skin or is eczema prone, Eucerin is the way to go. Like, you could literally be breaking out tomorrow, breaking out today, and use this lotion and it'd be gone tomorrow. Like... Use uh, some nail polish remover because I really don't even need this no more. Well, at the moment, but I was doing painting my toes and I didn't have no nail polish remover, but I just used a little drill thing that I had to get rid of the polish. But I still need to re up on that now. Into the face, the stuff that cost me the most money. I got me the ordinary, um, what is this, glycolic acid toner only because i don't know i used to use toner but then i stopped and i don't know why but i can definitely see a difference in my skin like my skin i still have some blemishes as you can see i i don't have bad skin but i want better skin alpha arbitin two percent serum and this is supposed to target hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So that's what I kind of want to get rid of. And this is something that I've used before and it worked. But I just ran out so I was kind of re-upping on it. CeraVe Resurfacing Retinol Serum. This definitely helps with, um, it say it on the box, reduces the appearance of post-acne marks and pores. Which for me, I have dark spots, but I also have pores so like i can literally see my pores on my cheeks so with these two combined the because this has niacinamide in it and li licorice root extract 
I don't know. Google said Nia Cinnamon and Alpha Arbitron together is like, you know, a good thing. So, I'm just trying it out. What is up, you guys? It is the next day. It's Saturday morning. It's like 1020. Really, I was supposed to be out of here before this time, but I didn't get up. Y'all, sometimes I like to sleep in on my Saturdays. Like, yes, I like to get up and do stuff, but I can give myself the weekend to sleep in because the weekday I can't. So, anyways, right now I'm letting my wig dry down a little bit. Look at the curls, y'all. It's so shiny. I like this wig, but I'm ready to take it off. Um, and I'm going to do my hair tomorrow. Just press out my real hair, put some clip ins in. I'm tired of this wig, honestly. Back in the house, y'all. Finally. Got out a little later and got in a little later than expected. But we got some Chick fil A. I just got back from Ross. I was going to take out with me, but it was just, I was overstimulated. Like, it was so many people out there. Which I should have expected is 3 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, but it wasn't much in there, so I didn't get much. I just got these, anyways, he's loud. I hope y'all can hear me, but I got this four set of wine glasses, and this was only $11.99, so I had to get it. Because I don't have no wine glasses. Like, I have small little glasses, but not the one with the long stem, if that makes sense. I also got a little oil bottle to, like, drizzle oil and stuff while I'm cooking it. Before I just had the, you know, big old thing of oil and I choose to throw it in there basically. But I like this better because it can, it allows me to control the amount of oil that I'm putting in there better. So, Daddy, <laughs> this is the bonding time, okay? I've been bonding with you for 23 years. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys, so my dad is here putting up the TV. TV up so we can chill in the living room and you know me just sitting here being the princess that I am so we had to take a pause on mountain and TVs and come to Home Depot because turns out the wall y'all I don't know what I'm talking about no, but I'm gonna try to explain it to y'all as much as I can the wall I don't have wood studs I have metal metal studs in the wall so I have to anchor the TV instead of like drilling it in the, what was supposed to be wood studs. So I'm with my dad and my boyfriend in Home Depot and we're gonna get what we need to get. You screw this down and then it, the part snaps off. And then this part is the part stuck inside the wall with whatever. A, a little. This part has to come down on this side. Uh, so, yeah, right there. Right there, perfect. Yeah, right there. This is how the TV is looking. I still have to hide those cords, but I'm not going to hide them yet until I get my um, cable box or whatever. Um, because I don't know like what wire is going to go with that. So I just want to wait and I have to sweep up that dust. And then, y'all, we put the pictures up and they look really nice. But this one where my dad tried to drill the holes to hang up the light. It was a stud or whatever it's called. I honestly don't know, but it was a metal stud behind it so it wouldn't drill and he didn't want to mess up anything. So I can always patch up those holes, but instead of drilling it, we decided to do command strips, which didn't work because the light is too heavy. Like, and we bought the heaviest command strips. So what I did today was I bought these little hook things from, hold on, these little claw hooks from Home Depot. And these you just, this part goes inside the back of the light so it can like hang and this part just goes in the wall. Um, but I'm gonna need help. I'm gonna need my boyfriend help to uh, push them in because when I try to do it, I guess I just wasn't strong enough. <laughs> But, yeah, so I bought those, and hopefully that works. It says up to 45 pounds. Does it say that? I don't know, but, yeah. 
it's 7 54 and i'm still not done but almost there my macaroni is done my cabbage is done It'll come off my cabbage is done and now i'm just waiting on my cornbread and my chicken my chicken is basically done I'm just waiting for it to like brown a little bit more because I like it a little bit more crispy because it is baked chicken but I still like it to be crispy on the edges and I could have put it in the air fryer but I didn't want it I still wanted it to be like soft like in the air fryer my chicken would have been soft but y'all know what I mean like baked chicken where you where you just let it cook for like two to three hours and, it, and at the end just let it get crispy and it just be falling off the bone I finally got them to stay. It's a little blurry because the light is shining. I don't know, but finally got those up. Now looking at it, I could have did three, but I feel like once I put my stuff over here, I kind of want to do another lamp and like something in that corner. It's going to fill up the wall space. I'll probably check in with y'all whenever I do something next.